Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So uh, in this video, we will continue with the uh, financial market topmost MCQs. Okay, so in our previous video, we discussed so many uh, questions based on uh, financial market, capital market and money market. I hope you watched that particular one. If not, please go and watch that video. Uh, and uh, now we will uh, continue with the financial market. So question based on capital, money or their instruments, right? So next first question on your screen is in uh, which kind of funds uh, investor can enter or exit throughout the uh, year at the um, uh, the uh, market uh, NAV or uh, net asset value, which is uh, the current market price for uh, any mutual fund. Okay. So guys, um, if you um, see uh, that mutual fund wala video where we discuss different type of mutual funds. So this is based on open ended mutual fund. Okay, so we have two major categories. One is open ended where um, investor they can uh, enter in any mutual fund at um, any specific time. So uh, that is called open ended and in case of close ended, we have a fixed lock in period. And uh, if you talk about the other one, like equity funds where basically fund manager invest their entire money in uh, equities shares and debt funds where he invests entire money or entire portfolio is generally based on debt securities. Hybrid is basically um, we can say a combination of equity and debt like in Indian market we use 60s to 40 ratio, 50s to 50 ratio, 70s to 30 ratio. So that depend on the um, uh, risk of that particular portfolio. Okay. So um, open-ended uh, mutual funds are those funds where uh, uh, investor they can enter any time or they can exit any time uh, at the current NAV of that particular mutual fund. Okay, next question. Does fund uh, invest money into fixed income securities such as uh, corporate bond, government securities and treasury bills? So what will be your correct answer? So what will be your right answer? Uh, debt funds. So debt funds. Uh, the, the type of mutual fund where basically fund manager they invest entire uh, money in into uh, the fixed income securities or we can say bonds okay so in case of uh, equity funds they invest entire money in equities in case of debt they invest entire money into bonds and in case of interval or hybrid so this is a type where they generally make some combination of equity and debt as well hybrid and interval are the same okay and close ended and open ended close ended where we have a fixed lock in period but in case of open ended so investor they can enter or they can exit anytime at uh, the uh, market nav okay so hope this is also clear next one with reference to mutual fund, NAV stand for, so many times we discuss about NAV. So NAV stand for net asset value. Okay, so this is, you can also say this is um, the um, current market uh, price of any uh, mutual fund. Okay, like whenever you will invest any mutual fund or whenever you will do some research about mutual fund. So um, uh, the, the, price, the market price of that particular mutual fund is generally known as net asset value. And the formula is very simple. It is the total fund minus liabilities divided by number of outstanding units. So on the basis of this formula, we generally calculate the current market price or the current NAV of any mutual fund. Like, like let's say in case of shares, when you invest in shares, so uh, uh, this is like we have current market price. Like let, let's say SBI is trading on 330 rupees. So 330 is current market price of uh, State Bank of India. So similarly in mutual fund, that current market price is generally known as NAV and the formula is uh, total out total fund minus liabilities divided by number of outstanding units. Okay, next one. Uh, when the issuer of uh, the bond call out his right to redeem the uh, bond even before uh, reach the maturity period. So it is generally known as so optionability of bonds I already discussed in our previous video even in uh, the fundamental video as well. So we have two optionability in the bond. So one is callable. The right is reserved to the issuer of bond. So they can uh, call out uh, that particular bond before maturity. Let's say any issuer, let's say government of India, they issue bond for 15 years and they uh, call out these particular bonds in 10 years. So that is generally known as callable of bonds and putable, the right is reserved to the uh, investor or the buyer of that particular bond. It is not an obligation. So they can, let's say you invested in some bond for 10 years 
uh, you withdraw your money in seven year only so that is option putability of that particular bond okay so option c will be right answer for this particular one and optionability of bond is call option that right reserved to the issuer of bond but it is not an obligation in case of putable bond it is the right is reserved to the uh, buyer of that particular bond okay but these are like they do have that option of prematurity but it is not an obligation okay next one under the dash market funds are traded for a period between uh, two uh, two days to 14 days so what will what it is called so what will be your correct answer notice money okay so call money notice money term money these are interbank transaction so buyer and sellers or the participants in this particular markets are bond uh, the banks okay so when any bank need funds for um, overnight or 24 uh, uh, 24 uh, hours that is called money if there is an interbank transaction between two banks for overnight that is called uh, call money notice money is 2 to 14 days and uh, 15 to 364 days or less than one year it is generally known as term money okay so option b will be correct answer for this particular one next one what is the minimum denomination of cds certificate of deposit so certificate of deposit are issued by banks and financial institutions okay and these are generally issued in a denomination of rupees 1 lakh and multiple so option c is the correct answer so in case of cd it is 1 lakh in case of um, treasury bill it is 25000 and in case of um, the uh, certificate uh, the, the commercial paper it is rupees 5 lakh and if you talk about the risk and return so certificate of deposit they uh, belongs to moderate risk and return highly risky instrument are commercial paper and uh, least risky instrument of money market is treasury bills okay next one minimum denomination of commercial paper so what will be a correct answer 5 lakh rupees we just talk about this particular one so option d is the correct answer for this one okay commercial paper are issued by corporate houses or any company which is um, registered under companies act 1956 uh, okay next question guys uh, what is the minimum time duration of commercial paper okay so as you know the denomination is 5 lakh rupees issued by corporate houses and these are generally issued for a minimum period of 15 days and maximum up to one year so 15 days will be correct answer cds are issued for a minimum time duration of seven days and in case of treasury bills they have a, a fixed uh, denomination time duration like 91 days 182 days and 364 days previously 14 days was also available right so these are issued for a time duration of minimum 15 days and up to one year next one when the interest rate um, is zero and the issuer is only uh, applicable to repay the principal amount to the investor so in this type of like these are generally known of which kind of bonds so what will be a correct answer zero coupon bond so zero coupon bond basically uh, uh, if you see uh, they, they are generally sell at uh, par value okay so here basically if you invest 90 rupee you will get 100 rupees this is mentioned okay so any uh, specific coupon rate is not mentioned on these kind of bonds but you will get some uh, return uh, uh, when you invest in these kind of bond as well okay so fixed rate is where the rate of interest is fixed variable or floating is where uh, the interest rate is generally float or vary as per the market condition or demand and supply factors callable and putable are the optionality of bonds which we earlier discussed okay next one which of the following uh, market is known as um, known for the listing of securities okay so capital market is further classified into two part one is primary another one is secondary so primary is generally known for listing or the introduction of securities right and secondary market is generally known for trading so trading means buying and selling of securities so what will be your correct answer primary market will be correct answer for this particular one the rest if you talk about money market it is uh, the market where companies and government they fulfill their short term fund requirements commodities where we generally deal in raw commodities like um, gold silver lead zinc crude oil even some agriculture commodities as well like um, guar gum turmeric coriander so that is commodities market currencies where we generally deal in currency pair okay so we generally have forex market 
primary and secondary i hope you uh, uh, remember the differences between these two okay so capital market further categorization is primary market and secondary market which of the following is not a money market instrument okay so we gone through so many money market and capital market instrument i hope now it is clear okay so treasury bill is part of money market commercial bill commercial paper is part of money market mutual funds are not part of money market these are part of capital market so money mutual fund is uh, basically a combination of equity and debt and equity means shares and debt means bond so debt debt bond market and share market they are related with the uh, this uh, long term uh, securities and they are part of capital market certificate of deposit again part of uh, uh, money market and uh, dated government securities are again part of money market so option c will be correct answer for this particular one next one which of the following is our function of indian uh, financial market so whenever you talk about financial market there are so many functions which are generally performed by uh, uh, this uh, particular market so go through these particular statement it provide it provide facilitate or it facilitate for the interaction between investor and borrower which is correct one it provide a uh, pricing information resulting uh, from the uh, interaction between buyer and seller so through with the help of foreign market uh, financial market you can know the price of any commodity any shares or currency it provides security uh, to dealing in financial assets like we have exchanges stock exchanges or broking houses these like we have savvy so we do have a uh, security right so what will be a correct answer option d will be right answer for this particular one next one otc stand for what okay so otc is uh, over the counter trade okay so nowadays we do not have we have exchange most probably in case of forex we use this one okay or swaps we use the otc or forward contract we use otc but it is uh, some previously when we do not have this organized market in most of cases we uh, trade in otc manner so over the counter so what will be a correct answer option a will be correct answer for this one so over the counter or off exchange trading is done directly between the two parties without the supervision of exchange okay so as i gave you an example of forward or swap contract so these are generally part of otc next one okay so guys uh, i did a video on uh, fiscal policy or uh, uh, the union budget as well so the top most mcqs based on uh, fiscal policy or budget which is frequently asked in examination so please do what uh, do watch that one also okay so i hope you guys enjoy uh, uh, this uh, mcq based uh, series so like before coming to the mcq one request to all of you guys ki um, please do watch the um, uh the, the fundamental video or the concept video based on these particular topic i did videos on uh, financial market capital market money market bonds types of bonds derivatives type of derivatives mutual funds types of mutual funds so these videos are very very important if you'll go through these particular videos i can guarantee you can mark 100% right answer for all these questions okay so if you like the video please um, do share with your friends and uh, uh, if you are new to my channel please do subscribe so i'll i'll see you uh, with more videos and uh, stay tuned for the upcoming one thank you for the watching this video guys have a nice day